The Baron Artificial Anterior Chamber is a potentially versatile and relatively inexpensive, sterile, disposable, single-use surgical device. It is available through Katina Surgical Eye Instruments. The device is designed primarily to be used as a companion to the popular Baron Vacuum Trefine to allow for donor buttons to be cut with the epithelial side up, as one currently does for the recipient cornea. Theoretically, cutting a donor button from the epithelial side up will minimize donor-recipient size mismatch and thereby surgically induced astigmatism that may result. The base component of the device has two ports connected with silicone tubing, inline pinch clamps, and female lure lock connectors, which may be used interchangeably to either inject or aspirate either air or fluid. One should first prime the device with fluid through both ports before use. The Baron Artificial Anterior Chamber consists of three device components. Although the device is of a uniform blue color, for the purposes of this video, in order to enhance visualization, the three components have been color-coded. the locking ring. This device component locks both the tissue and the entire device into place to allow for predictable handling and cutting of the tissue. The ring is rotated into place in a clockwise motion. The corneal tissue retainer. This device component has ridges on the inferior surface of its top edge that are designed to match complementary ridges on the top of the base component. Once secured, these ridges provide a degree of traction that prevents movement during tissue manipulation. The base. This device component has two holes on the top of the pedestal that allow for either injection or aspiration of either air or fluid into the chamber. The two pegs at its base are designed to fit into the holes of the tissue retainer. The corneal scleral tissue should be approximately 14 to 18 millimeters in diameter and needs to be trimmed, if necessary, to fit comfortably into the device. Once the donor tissue is adequately sized, it is placed on top of the pedestal over a bed of viscoelastic to protect the endothelium. It is important to center the cornea over the concave section of the device to avoid unnecessary shifting of the tissue. To minimize torsion, the pegs of the base component should be aligned with the holes of the tissue retainer before it is lowered. A certain amount of force should be used to ensure that the tissue sits comfortably on the grooves of the base. Once the device is assembled, Additional fluid can be injected into one of the silicone tubes using a Lurilock syringe. This will increase the pressure within and deepen the anterior chamber. Alternatively, fluid can be aspirated from the chamber. Once a comfortable chamber depth is attained, the pinch clamps can be locked to maintain the desired pressure while the donor cornea is cut using a barren vacuum trefine. 